Hey guys, um, I wanted to talk to you about what I expect from you for your argumentative unit. And so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, basically, a few years ago, I uh, downloaded this packet and it really helps me as a teacher be able to present this information to you in a colorful way. And I'm not always like the most creative when it comes to creating content. And so I just want to share this with you and give you some ideas of what I expect from you out of this argumentative essay. I am going to note that this is probably the most important video that you're going to watch um, for this unit so that it will cover like most of the things that we're going to go over. So it may be long, but it's really important that you watch this. OK, so I'm going to share my screen. OK, so an argument. So I've given you a few options of your topics. You can choose from video games. You can choose from social media, football, corporal punishment or spanking and um, religion. So those are the five options that you have. So what your first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up with your topic. After you come up with your topic, say you choose video games, you're going to want to choose a position. So you can be for video games or against video games, but you need to decide what you need, which side you're going to be on. If you are for video games, you need to come up with some type of claim or statement about video games being good. You could have it be simple as like video games are helpful to students. Then you're going to want to come up with your reasons. So your reasons are going to be within your claim. So if my claim is that video games are good, I'm going to come up with three reasons why. Um, so you may need to do some research. You can use that pro con document that I've given you with the links. I think it looks like this. Um, and you can use what they say here. Most of your things have a pro con article, like this one's video game pro con. And if you use these, like this right here, it will tell you these are reasons right here. It says reason one, playing video games causes more aggression. So this is against video games. Um, and then con against is that they have significantly increased while violent juvenile games has decreased. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up with three main reasons that will support your thought. So if you're saying that video games are good, if you're saying that football is good, you need to come up with three reasons why. And that's gonna be within your claim, that's gonna make your thesis. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna combine that into a thesis. Now, parts of an argument essay, this sheet right here that I'm going over. So you have your claim, which is your stance and your opinion, what you're gonna do. So your whole entire essay is gonna be over whatever stance you've chosen. So if you choose that video games are good, it's going to be all about how video games are good. I should see that within every part of your writing. The next thing you're going to need is your, your reasons. There are like your one reason, two reason, three reason. You're going to need evidence to back that up. So your reasons are going to be backed up by evidence. If I say that video games are good because it helps emotional health with students, I would need to find some type of data or some type of information, facts that tells me that video games are good. So it's good for you to come up with reasons, but you need to be able to back them up. Just like in real life, if I want to negotiate for better pay, I would need to give reasons as to why I deserve better pay. Otherwise, people are gonna look at you like, mm -mm, nope, not happening. All right, then you want something that's called a joint, which is where you bridge and you connect your reasons and your claim. So if I say, that video games help kids de-stress. And I find some fact that says whatever, I don't know, 50% of kids were had less stress when they played video games. Um, I would need to make the claim, well, okay, this data shows us that video games help people's emotional health. In addition, so a um, argumentative essay, in my opinion, will have three reasons which are your three body paragraphs, you will have a fourth body paragraph for this one. And that will be your counterclaim. So you know, going up against that fight, somebody is gonna go against you. For example, not everyone likes video games. So you know somebody's gonna say, video games are violent, video games are bad, video games are negative, and you need to be prepared to hit them back. And a thing, I'm not saying you're physically hitting anybody. I'm saying arguments are like a fist fight, kind of, and and and. Now. You have your side, they're going to respond, and then you're going to hit them back, basically. And so when you think about it, your counterclaim is like your opposite side, and you're, you're going to come back, and you're going to hit them back. 
So the format is introduction, body one, body two, body three. Counterclaim can be in the conclusion, but I prefer it to be in a separate paragraph just because it's easier for me to see that you know what you're doing. So a counterclaim paragraph where it says, some people may say blank, and you, you tell the opposite side, and then you're gonna come up with a rebuttal that will be in that paragraph. Then you will also have a conclusion. So technically this is a six paragraph essay, not a five paragraph essay. Now, could you break it up into more paragraphs? Yes, you could. I'm not saying a five paragraph is the only way to do it. I'm just saying that six paragraphs seems reasonable, doable, okay? Um, that rebuttal is where you say, okay, yes, people say video games are, are violent. However, the majority of kids who play video games do not commit violent crimes. Something like that. Okay. Um, so argument is backed by your data. You want to make sure you have your data. I'm just going to scroll through some of this. Some of this is really good. Um, it's like little graphic things. They're super cute. So think about your, um, this is your claim. It needs to connect to your joint, which connects to your facts and all that cute stuff. Cutesy, meatsy stuff. Okay. Um, and then there's lots and lots and lots. Like this thing was huge when I, when I opened up. All right, so <clears throat> when you write your paragraph, I suggest when you write, you sit down and you focus and you write the whole thing down. Obviously, if you are doing other work, it's going to be distracting. I really want you to focus when you are writing because it will help you, like, it'll help make yours better. So your paragraph should include your reason and evidence explanation and a transitional word or phrase. I will list a um, thing with all, like a little graphic I have right here, with all the transition words that I suggest you use. It will help your grade. Okay, I am giving, I'm gonna uh, try to upload a picture of this, a sample, sample paragraph right here. And this tells you like exactly what I expect out of you and then Further, as this goes on, it tells you where everything is. So I will try to upload all these pictures available to Buzz, and I'm going to just email it or blend through the classroom. And I'll include citations that tells me what, where the information comes from. What I wanted to go over mainly with you guys today, and I know my scroll is kind of driving me, probably cuckoo ka is that I want to get over it. Real life, young people. This is real life. Okay, so I wanted to remind you of the due date. Um, March 4th is the due date. I may add an additional time, but I really wanted to have this done third quarter so we can move on because the next, my favorite unit is coming up, and that is poetry. I absolutely love poetry. Uh, poetry is amazing. Okay, almost there. I think. Okay, almost there. I'm going to upload this as well um, so you guys can see it. This is our Okay, this is our rubric. So I want to go over our rubric real quick with you. So this is what I'm going to be grading you on. I've literally printed this off. I actually try to make copies, but apparently we are out of paper. I don't know how that works. But okay. So um, this is what I'm grading you on. I'm grading you on making sure you have a precise claim. That means your claim doesn't say, there are lots of pros and cons to video games. I will talk to you about that. First off, I hate I. Don't put I in your paper. Like, what am I supposed to be? Second off, like, you are telling me one stance. Choose the stance. Choose I am for video games. Choose I'm against video games. Choose I'm for footballs. Choose I'm against football. Be precise. No, like, wishy-washy, okay? Um, so you need to make sure you have a good claim and you have, like, like good reasons as well. And that your, so it says minor claims here. Basically what that is, is your minor claims are your reasons. So video games are good for the mental health of students. And I could say why it relieves stress. So in one paragraph, I talk about stress. That's my minor claim is that video games are good for the mental health when it comes to stress. Then you wanna make sure that your stuff is organized. Many of you, when I came to read essays, the first thing you complained about was, or the first thing I said was, this isn't organized. Um, organization is huge when it comes to reading, because when you read something and it's not organized, the first thing you do is you're like, what, what is this? Okay, um, so it tells you here, it um, conveys, relates good evidence and data. 
So basically what it is, is I want to find reliable quotes. I do not want you to use Wikipedia. You know why. I do not mind if you go to the end of the Wikipedia page and click on the links and use the links and make sure you know where the sites come from. The thing is, I can go in and edit it and then your information is wrong. Okay. Um, I need your stuff to be connected throughout. That is cohesion. So cohesion is my claim is video games are good. And I am talking about throughout the entire essay. Um, I also need it to be engaged and like I need to be able to, to be able to read it and it's not like super, super boring. Um, my in-person kids, I'm making them present their work to the class. So, and then you can also use graphs or some type of um, technology added to it as well. You're getting points for that. My kids don't, don't worry about that. I'm going to have you guys go in and add all that on the seventh. So after you've turned in your essay, you go back in and you can add like pictures and graphs and things like that. Okay. So basically what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you, sorry, I don't know how to get, I suck at getting out of this video. It's so silly. There we go. Okay, so basically what I'm asking you to do is you're choosing your topic. So you're choosing video games, social media, football, corporal punishment or spanking or religion. And you are making an essay over that. What are my expectations out of that? Well, I expect 12 point font, double space. If you do not know how to do this or you haven't taken the terms class or maybe you just have questions about it, you can email me. I will help you. You can also share with me your document so I can make comments or edits and changes to help you along the way. I do not want you to feel like you have to do this all in one day and nobody's here to help you and nobody's here to assist you. I am here to assist you. I'm here to help you. You can reach me. I've even given you my cell phone number. If you don't know, it's 901-401-0116. You can reach out to me. I am available to help you. Um, and I want you to try your very, very best on this. This virtual learning is a little bit different. It's not normal. It's not for everybody. But I think that you guys can succeed if we do little bits at a time. So with that being said, March the 4th is the due date. It is essentially a rough draft because on the 7th and 8th, I'm going to have us go in and do some edits and revising. I am hoping to spend that 4th, 5th day grading and giving you advice. So if you are virtual, I know that sometimes you might do your work on a Sunday. Please just have it ready to go. I've already had one student turn their work in. Um, so just make sure that you are following along doing what you need to do. If you have questions, reach out and ask me. I'm more than available to help you. Um, and please just have a great day. Remember that you matter.